Hello people, Computer Madman here and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you today how to make your Minecraft run completely smooth with the mod called Optifine. Now if you have watched my previous video, uh, the one before of how I did Minecraft, uh, that was without Optifine but this one is now with Optifine and I am go and uh, I have deleted the last, uh, my la the other Minecraft video I mean, sorry about that of uh you know because i didn't have optifine on it but this one has optifine now what optifine basically does is it makes your minecraft super less laggy uh than if you if you just had the normal settings on the lowest it basically lowers the lag even 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 more so uh to get started uh what you're going to want to do is go to google and you're going to search optifine Always one word, okay? Then you're gonna to want to click the second one, second link down here. It's called Optifine.net. Okay, once you load that, go to the download tab right at the top. Now, once you come here, it will say uh, Minecraft 1.7.10, as that is the latest version so far. And it says Optifine HD standard. You got Ultra or Light. Uh, I would just recommend going for the standard one. Uh, for now, now what you're going to do is you're going to want to click the mirror download button. So it should have download and then brackets mirror. So you're going to want to go to the mirror download. Okay, then you're just going to want to click download Optifine. And then it will say it is a harmful file. Um, but it just means basically not, not a lot of people download it or something like that. Okay, so once it's done that, you're just going to want to do show in folder. And uh, you should have it uh, right here. So once you drop and drag it to your desktop like this, as you can see, mine is right over this side of the screen. What you're going to want to do is you're not going to open it in WinRAR form. What you are going to do is just right click on it. You're going to do open with, and it should say Java TM Platform SE Binary. So you're going to want to click this. Let's just wait for this to load quickly. There we go. And now it says Optifine Installer. For Minecraft 1.7.10, this this installer will install Optifine in the official launcher and will create a new profile called Optifine. So all you're going to want to do is just press install, and it and it will pop up straight away saying Optifine is successfully installed. So once that is done, that's it. You had the mod installed, but now I'm going to be showing you some of the best settings that this Optifine has to offer to reduce your lag in Minecraft. So I will see you back on my Minecraft. Okay guys, so once you are now on your Minecraft launcher, uh, it should already say at the bottom, welcome to your profile, ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10 with Optifine HD A4. Now I know it says on mine, it says Minecraft 1.8 is now out. Uh, that's because obviously they haven't made uh, the 1.8 Optifine yet. But uh, one thing you want to do first is uh, you're going to want to change your profile down here because it will already be set to Optifine. So you're going to want to change it to the profile. Uh, this is my sister's Minecraft, so don't be surprised. Because I, I, I didn't pick that name, that's my sister's one. And what you're going to do is go at the top here to the profile editor. Then on Optifine, you're just going to click it, right click, and you're going to do delete this profile. As uh, we don't need it. So once you've done that, uh, you can then, yeah, just get ready. Wait, I think there's something else I need to do. No, there's not. Okay, so once you've done that, you are then ready to click play on your Minecraft. Okay, guys, so once you are inside of your Minecraft, basically what you are then uh, going to do is you're going to want to go down to your options menu. Once you hit your options menu, uh, the other stuff don't really uh, don't matter, to be honest. You're just going to want to go to video settings. Now I'm going to go through each of the settings one by one and uh, I'm going to try and explain them as much as possible if I can. So graphics you're going to put fast because um, obviously yeah it says fast is a lower quality and it's faster um, and fancy just means that it goes uh, really really quick. No fancy means that it goes a bit slower because everything looks all nice and everything. Uh, now the next one we have underneath is smooth lighting. Um, now I'm not really 
100% sure what smooth lighting is. I presume it means kind of the lighting from the sun or something like that in the game or the way the shadows work and things like that. But just turn that off. Smooth lighting level off. GY scale. Uh, uh, I don't really know about that to be honest. Brightness doesn't really matter at all really. Fog you're going to want to put off because uh, the more atmospheric... Uh, things it has to render you know while you're actually playing the game the more processing it's going to take up and because fog is would be everywhere in the game um, it will obviously use a lot of the processing power to render the fog 3d anagraph I do not know what that is um, now the next tab we have underneath is details now this is one of the new things to do this is one of the things to do with optifying so clouds uh, you can have them off, which means um, would be the fastest. You can have them fast, I guess, because obviously you know it says fast. But if you want absolute less lag, you might as well just have them off. Uh, trees, you have to have fast at the minimum. Water, you can have fast, so it's just a clear water. It doesn't have any ripple effects or whatever. Sky, uh, you can have off. Sun and moon off, depth fog on or off, but we're going to have it off. Translucent blocks, uh, you're going to want to have fast. So I think the translucent box means with blocks that have different colours, um, it will obviously render those colours a little bit faster and make them less, you know, colourful sort of thing. Cloud height uh, off, grass you're going to put fast, so it's because if you have it fancy, it's obviously going to be really wavy grass. And it's going to have to render the waviness of the grass and how it like looks and everything. So if you have fast, it'll do well. Rain and snow, you're going to put fast because you just, you just want it to be simple. Okay, next we have stars. You're just going to keep that uh, off. Snow capes off. Uh, I, I don't actually really want to know what snow capes is, to be honest. Held item tooltips off. Dropped items, you're going to want to put fast because obviously you don't want it to be fancy and it's all really slow and animated and stuff you want it f nice and fast smooth and effective so that was details next we are on to is animation now for animation I'm not going to go through all of these because it will just take a very very long time so just put all of these off and part and uh, just press the all off button down here and on particles right down here just put them all to minimal and that's fine. Render distance. This is usually the most important thing ever now. Uh, with Optifine, you can actually make it go to an extreme render distance, which is 32. But it says 8 is normal. Okay, 8 is the normal render distance of any Minecraft. Okay. Uh, but you can have. But the fastest is 2. Uh, it says it's actually 32 meters for the fastest, 64. Uh, for longest, but because we want it to go the fastest, we're going to put render distance on two for tiny. Maximum frame rate, we're going to want to put unlimited because you do not want to limit your maximum frame rate. Because obviously, the higher the frame rate, the better. So it's best to put unlimited because uh, you're not limiting your frame per second of how high you want it to be. View bobbing off, but, uh, that doesn't really affect much performance anyway. Advanced Open GL. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but just put it as fast because there's an option for it. Clouds off, fog start. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to put 0 uh, 0.2. Uh, it says the option doesn't usually affect performance, that's okay. Now we have quality. Uh, mid map level, you're actually going to want to put uh, 4. I don't know if I can actually lower it to be honest. Uh, Okay, there we go, yeah. So, mid map level put four. I'm sorry about that, it was just that the Minecraft was free. Let's put that four. And stop it filtering off. And all the rest of the stuff you're just going to want to put to uh, off. Mid map type, put nearest. Because uh, the nearer, less lag you should uh, get. But it says it, it doesn't apparently affect the. Yeah, it says it shouldn't affect the performance anyway. 
So there we go, nearest and all the rest should be off. So wait, was that performance or was that quality? That was okay, so then we're gonna wanna go to performance, smooth frame per second. We're just gonna put on because obviously, you know, you want smooth frame per second when you play Minecraft. Uh load file we're gonna put off. Uh so basically what the load file does is it will render chunks. If you have load file on, it will render chunks at a very, very, very long distance. And we don't want that to happen. We want it to render as least as possible to make it less laggy for our experience. So you can put load off. Chunk updates, just put one. Um, now, you can have it on five, which uh, makes the world load faster. But during game, you will have a lower frame per second. So I would recommend put it on, on one. It will take longer to load the world. But overall, you will have a faster frame per second. Fast math, fast math. I don't know what that is, so just keep off. Fast render. Um, you're gonna want to put it to on, because obviously we want you know fast render to be on anyway. Smooth world. Um, me fluctuate. Uh, you're gonna want to keep it on for the stability of your frames. Although now apparently it's not going to let me put it on. So apparently, yeah, I can't put it on for some reason. So preloaded chunks, just put that to uh, off. Dynamic updates off and lazy chunk loading off. And then last but not least, we have other lagometer off, weather off. Uh, now the autosave interval is very important because... Uh, the autosave interval will usually cause a lag spike if you have autosave, which is a good feature of Optifine. But what I would recommend is, uh, obviously you don't want two seconds because it says you will get a lag spike in your game every two seconds. Uh, 20 seconds I would not recommend either because it will give you more lag spikes as well. 3 minutes is pretty good. 30 minutes is too long. You just say if you built a house in half an hour or you've gone mining and found some diamonds in half an hour and suddenly your minecraft crashes then you've lost all your data from that half an hour of playtime so I would recommend doing it in three minutes debug profiler you are going to put in the off position time is going to be set to default uh, normal day and night cycles full screen mode you're going to put uh, default and uh, oh yeah, I've got to say full screen. You're gonna want to keep it off because uh, if you have it in windowed mode, it will it will give you less lag as well. But if it doesn't give you much lag, then you can just put it in full screen. And yeah, that is it for all the settings. So now I'm gonna show you one of my worlds which I have launched uh, before with the mod on. Okay, guys. So once you are inside of the world, uh, it may look a little bit uh, shitty. Uh, not going to joke uh, there, but um, yeah, altogether you will have a smooth Minecraft experience. Obviously, mine isn't maybe as smooth as it could be um, because of I am actually recording at the very same time. But now, it do if it does look very shitty, uh, what you can do is just go to options. Uh, you can then go to your video settings, and you can then increase your render distance to eight, which is the normal. See how it runs then, and yeah, just see whether it's uh, a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, I'm obviously getting lag because I'm actually recording at the very same time. But uh, normally, uh, and yeah, it seems to be actually running okay, to be honest. You know, I can, um, I can dig the blocks and stuff, and it doesn't really lag uh, that much at all. As you can see, it doesn't really lag, like, too much. So, yeah, that's practically it, really. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. If this Optifine lag test did help you out very much, I know it helped me for sure. If you could please hit that subscribe button, that would really help me out and help my channel grow. So, I will see you guys in my next tutorial video. Goodbye, guys.